everybody and welcome back to Vampire. I was starting up back where we left off and being very confused at just what Jonathan is going through and trying to investigate that he would think has something to do with him. So let's start talking to locals. Actually, Let's check our hideout that we had here first. Uh, let's check our map. You guys can read that. Oh, oh! You discovered a hint. It reveals the secret to the scene. Okay, so things that I pick up matter. So this in details: as a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlock hints, increase the amount of XP. So, Sabrina House hides her true feelings about her boss, Tom Watts. Okay, but if I feed on them, do they die? Like, I want to test it out, but there's, there's no manual save. So there's no way I could save. Or save scum, as people like to put it, to even try to test it out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But, uh, let's check out my hideout. It is. I want nobody to see me dead inside. Keep out. We just found a new hideout. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Okay. So I'm thinking this is probably a little bit like it's giving me <clears throat> Dishonored vibes with the whole stable area. I guess I'm like, you know, they say there's a sickness, there's a plague going on. And I'm guessing the more people I bite, or not stable in the area it's gonna be. So let's see if we can talk to some locals. That's. I don't know if the, the locals are the only ones that's in the bar. Maybe not. Maybe I can find some. Okay. Nothing over there. doesn't look so bad and I guess my graphic card is pushing it as much as it can and it could probably look better than you're seeing but hey to me graphics isn't always everything but it is good eye candy so it doesn't look like it's too much of an open area I guess the only locals are seriously the people that are in this bar uh, let's, we have more places to go. Okay. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? Okay. So he wants to be hero vampire. That's cool. 
Part of me wants to get into the border to see what would happen. And, uh, oh. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. Multiple deaths in the Dox region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast. Purge it quickly. Warning, according to recent reports, the vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we like men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the Leech Brothers. Okay. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. They are PR. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Guess I don't need to talk to the locals, but as I was explaining, I want to see what happens when I do this. Nope, can't do it. But that is very pretty shiny water. Pay that much. I seriously wish this guy would change his clothes. Alright, looks like we got some... We got some fine to do. I'm sorry about the accents. They just happen. his blood and stop playing with them that type of vampire just takes a snack I just whoop impress blah 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 ammunition crate good I may need a lot of bullets I feel like I'm back on the front line again Okay. Oh, what the f- You don't aim? Oh, God. This is such a controller game. That's disappointing. Shoot this guy from up here. But can you get up here? Yeah, yeah, I figured that out. I figured that out. Get off my screen. Out. 
Okay, I'm getting, getting a little bit better. A little bit. But I, I have to do better. These battles are going to be a thing here. I don't know, maybe next, next time I will try this with the controller and just see if it's easier for me. I do not mean to complain so much about it, but, but, uh, you know. See if we can sneak up on this guy. Are you deaf? Huh? No, sir, you don't see me. You don't see me. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm gone. I like their screens when you burn them alive. Oh yeah, do you? We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Stay away. Wrong one. can read that now I can't see that the hunters are doing a bad thing by burning the bodies of look at that face I wish I could zoom in of vampires because vampires are monsters. I mean, they're not really doing the bad thing. So it's like, I like it. It's like, whose side am I on? I'm not really on the side of the guy that I'm playing because technically he's a monster now. So, but I mean, I guess he still has his humanity left that he'll, he'll probably be fighting against. Run attack, run attack, run attack. Yeah. No hits. Alright, I know there was one other guy down there. Ooh. Got a shotgun, but. But do I use it? <laughs> Hey. hey, what do you mean? <laughs> I want that gun. That crossbow, flame arrow. I want that. Forgot. I was still supposed to be following the blood draw. No? It reminded me. I wish the biting system, if you guys don't know the game, I love uh, Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. Love, love, love that game. I wish the biting system was similar to that, as opposed to just this kind of arcadey bite system. That just, you know, I'm just going to bite a little bit. And Masquerade Bloodlines, if you've never played this before, you're watching this, you controlled how much you bit from somebody. 
and they would kind of be a little bit dazed after you were done a little bit out of it but it was it was my type of vampire lore where you know you had these supernatural abilities to see talking about this just makes me want to play it all right It's weird. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Control your thirst. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing like these are vampires, but they look different. Really wish I could zoom in on our faces. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. Must have more. Oh dear God. I'm gonna give it a try. Feel it. Hold on here. This is me. This creature is bedeviled. Ooh. I must put it down. Ooh. Okay, so these are one of the the oh, kids. Frick off of me, boy! Don't get off of me! There we go. Back up, back it up, back it up. I dodged that, but okay. Alright, give him some space. Give him some space. Go on, attack again. Come on now. None of that. None of that. You ain't drinking none of my blood again. Back out of the corner. What? It failed? What do you mean? How did I fail something? How? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is why I like games with manual saves because I like to like in certain times I'm very much a completionist and I just like to get everything and I don't like when quests fail makes me want to start everything over again let's just yeah William was an honorable man I could have saved him Mr. Hampton are you in there we knew him well another lost soul a kindred spirit. sir listen to the sound of my voice I am I'm a doctor you're suffering from shock I must return to my flock they'll stray without me Ain't you supposed to have vampire senses my dude Yeah, no, he was thinking that boy. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. 
We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay. I... Like a Tesla boat. Let's let's see about what I missed. I really don't like that. Missed a hint. I can't go back, so I mean it could have been something that I missed out there. Well, well, we'll see if this has replayability on my own time. Let's collect the sample. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. This is, this is a whole cutscene. Look at this guy. He could have jumped in some water, washed off a bit, Where got a little bit headed? clean. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. <laughs> but I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that. Did we just right. stop? Are we not going? Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. 
But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a Are moment we supposed to, consider to still be moving? The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, okay, he stopped just to have that. So what if I said no? Would he throw me out of the boat? What a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. So, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I know this is this probably a little bit short for the second recording. I might stream this with the way this is going and how everything is set up. It, it's kind of set up to be streamed. So I might end up doing that. We shall see. But until next time, guys, I am Black Wave. I am sending good vibes your way. If you guys want to send those good vibes my way, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.